we're going to look at uh, using laws of logs to simplify a question. So here's our set. We're just going to keep it handy so we can reference it. This question, at first glance to me, looks like I can get it quickly, but it becomes unruly. So I'm going to tell you what I thought to do, and then uh, I'm probably going to have to revert to something else, which is okay in math. Sometimes you go down a pathway, and then you realize mm, this isn't the best way to do something. I personally prefer not to work in fractions. So this is divided by 5. My first instinct is just multiply both sides of this equation by 5. Um, when I do that, this will give me 20 with a set of brackets equals 8, whoops, eight to the power of x minus 1. Um, I look at this and I go, okay, got rid of that. But I got this unique situation where I can't simplify this. I thought maybe, oh, I can use distributive property, but I can't. This is actually just one term to an exponent, so I can't put this together. So I'm back at square one. I'm stuck again. So just for continuity, because you've already seen an example of this, I'm actually going to revert back. I'm going to go, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go back to my original, and then I'm going to start from here. And in which case, I'm just going to start using some laws of logs to figure this out. Okay? Okay. So one of the things we can do, and actually, it is not written <laughs> in these rules here, um, but we've talked about it a little before. I can raise um, both sides of an equation. I can carry out the same operation. In this one, I'm going to make both of them the arguments to a log. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this side. I'm going to make this the argument. Okay, just going to sit in the brackets, and I'm just going to say log. Um, I don't have to assign any base. I can just say it as base 10. If you want to put a number, you can. But in this case, I'm not using it to use the base. I'm just using it to use some of these laws later. So this part becomes the argument. Just like we've done putting things as an exponent, both sides of the equation. Um, this is now the argument here. And if I do that to the one side, I need to make this the argument to another set of logs. So whatever I had in there becomes this. Okay, so now I have two logs. Probably not my favorite thing to do. It can be tricky to work with them. But this now allows me to do something else. When four is written beside a set of brackets, this actually means multiply. And this fractional idea means division here. If I go quickly take a look, um, I got this neat little rule. If the argument for a log is multiplied to numbers, I can split it into two different logs. And if the argument to a log is division, I can split that into two different logs. So in this one, they use addition. In this one, they use subtraction. So if I look here, this is multiplication. I'm going to split this. This will be log 4 plus log 3 to the power of blah, blah, blah. Okay? So we'll start with that side. I can say log argument 4 plus log argument 3 to the power of 2x plus 3. Okay. And then on the other side, same idea, because we have division, I'm going to split this one. I'm going to call it log something minus log of whatever the denominator is. So on the right-hand side, we get log of this part will be 8 to the power of x minus 1 subtract log of 5. So I've now split this up and I got rid of my fractions. This is okay. Um, I'm still not wonderful with it. Like I don't know how to calculate log base 10 of 4. But there's another rule because I also have some exponents. I can get rid of these exponents. And that's one of the advantageous things to logs is there's this lovely rule with a log. Let's see if they have it written over here. They must. It's the, one of the most popular ones. Here it is. This rule here, if you have a log of some argument to the power of n, you can change that n to the coefficient and leave the rest of the log. So we're going to make this the coefficient in front of here, and then we'll have no exponent. We'll do the same with this one. This power becomes the coefficient in front of log, and then we have no power or exponent anymore. So my other logs are going to stay the same. Log base four or log base ten of argument four, just leaving it. This piece will now become a coefficient. So we're going to say plus. Now put it in a little set of brackets here because it's a funny coefficient. It's got multiple terms to it. Log 3. And then we're going to do the same thing here. This exponent will be the coefficient. It's not an 8 in there. Oh, that's where was this? There we go. x minus 1. That was the power of log 8 minus log 5. Ah, OK. Now we've got something happening here. So we have this piece. We have a 
here. We're set into our locks and we have some coefficients. Now, I will tell you this. At this point, if I don't like working with logs, I can put these into my calculator and they'll give me actual values. They're gonna be some decimal values. So it's gonna be approximations, but those tactically work, okay? I have done enough now that I can just start working with all of these. Now, I guess feeling your teacher is gonna want you to put this in logs as an answer, just so it's extremely accurate. Just like, um, do you ever remember working with like radicals and roots? And maybe they didn't carry it out because you end up with this really long decimal. So they leave the answer as a radical. That's probably what they're going to do here. Because log 10, base 10 of 8. Let me see. Do I have the scientific calculator up here? Uh, let's do this one. Let's see if I have triangles. Uh, here we go. Log of 8. Kind of a messy number there. And we also have a couple other ones. We have log 4. Another messy number. Log three and log five i think so very quickly we see uh, these are not so nice to write oh i can copy them Ooh, maybe i'll make this faster let's see ah where did my thing go where did it go oh here it is can i paste it in here no i can't okay i'll just write it down um i'm gonna leave it as logs just because it's accurate. But just be aware that you could, I'll say, I'll write it in red. This would have been like 0. Point blah, 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 plus 0. Point blah, 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 times 2x plus 3. So that was this log here would have been the 0. Point something. This here would have been, you know, 0. Point blah, 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 blah. x minus 1 minus 0. Point blah, 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 blah. And we just work with a bunch of those. We could do that. I'm going to work with the logs because I think that's what your teacher has done. So we have log 4. This is distributed property. I can distribute these two things. So this becomes log of, uh, oops, sorry. That becomes 2x log 3, and we could say plus 3 log 3 is equal to x log 8 minus, oh, I got rid of all this stuff I've written here now. Log so I'm, I'm distributing it at the moment. Um, minus 1 log 8 minus log 5. Now, at this point, i got to really try to keep track of my goal. My goal here is to isolate this x somehow. i got to get them by themselves. Everything else is technically a number. This is technically some uh, real number. It has a, a value, probably a whole number, and a bunch of decimals. So I'm going to get all my things that have logs attached to it to one side of the equation, and I'm going to move everything else to the other side. So in order to do that, I'm just going to say, hey, that one's going to stay here, and this one's going to come to the left-hand side. So we'll do it one step at a time. Log 4 plus this will become 2x. Log 3 plus 3. Log 3. This, because it was positive here, becomes negative x. Log 8 is equal to, and then I leave these ones on the other side. I don't need that one, I can just say minus, minus log eight, minus log five, okay? What might be easier at this point, to be dead honest, is if I use something called like a let statement, I could say, the only problem is I got one, two, three, four different ones. I could do a bunch of stuff where I say like let um, A equal log four, let B equal log three, let C equal log 8, and let A, B, C, I forgot my alphabet, D equal <laughs> log 5. Why would I do that? It's just because logs are pretty new to me, let's say. So I'm going to replace this with just the letter A. A, I know how to move around. That's pretty simple to me. 2x3, um, I'm going to replace with the letter B. Okay. Where am I? There we go. And this becomes plus 3B minus x, 8 with c, I'll put that in red, okay, is equal to negative c, and then uh, minus d. If my goal is to get my x's, I kind of simplified this. This looks, maybe, maybe not, maybe this is still very confusing, but here's my goal, I gotta get these x's. So the rest of the stuff, I can just move to the other side. I could have left it at logs if it's easier for you, I just got a bunch of letters now, so I have 2xb 
minus xc. I've kept those ones. And then we still have the negative c, negative d. When I move a to the other side, it becomes minus a. And when I move 3b to the other side, it becomes minus 3b. And remember, the goal is to get our x's by themselves. Um, so I'd have to get like a common denominator here to try to, uh, well, actually, no, I could put them together. I have x, sorry. This is what I can do. I lied. I can common factor x out. There's an x in both of these. I'm going to common factor. In other words, I'm going to divide both of them by x. So we get x. And then when we common factor, these ones essentially cancel. We have 2b. And over here, this becomes minus c when we factor out. So now x is by itself. We still have minus c, minus b, minus a, minus 3b. Who knows what the heck those are equal to. Again, the goals get x by itself. So I can divide everything by 2b minus c, 2b minus c. These disappear. Finally, x is by itself. It is equal to a heck of a lot of letters. Minus c, minus d, minus a, minus 3b over. 2b minus c. What does that mean? I don't really know. But I can go back in mm -hmm. and put my logs. It's going to be a bunch of logs. Yeah. Uh, you're going to need your calculator to figure it out in the end, and we'll substitute to get our final answer. But sometimes changing things into sort of simplistic variables might be a little easier. So I got to go to my reference sheet here. c was log 8, so I get negative log 8. d was log 5, so minus log 5. a was log 4, minus log 4. B was 3, so minus 3 log 3. I'm going to get the door there. And then the bottom piece is just 2 log 3 minus log 8. And you have your final answer from a heck of a lot of work there.